Hi guys, welcome back. <laughs> As you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be an unboxing plus a reveal, I guess, because this is something that I purchased back in December and I never showed you guys. I've never actually really fully unboxed the item. I just looked at it, left it in a box. So we're going to do an unboxing and also a reveal video. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here, my name's Nikia and I am a data analyst. However, I occasionally will do a video on luxury items and unboxings and things that I'm buying. And that's what today is. So today's unboxing is actually because I recently finished my bachelor's degree and I wanted to commemorate the occasion with a purchase. I haven't really purchased uh, luxury items since December, which I'll show you guys the item that I did buy, but I haven't purchased any luxury items since then. And I wanted to hold off and really think about what it is that I wanted. And you guys, I think it's been exactly a year ago when I unboxed the um, Van Cleef and Arpels um, Carnelian necklace. And I returned that to get this bracelet, the Onyx Alhambra bracelet, because I wanted it more. But I figured let's go ahead and return and try and find a necklace that I like. So spoiler, it's a necklace. So actually the necklace is not from Van Cleef. I decided to get an item from Cartier. I personally, I, I have eczema, which irritates my skin. I've had it all over my body. An area that I've had it is my neck. So I'm kind of hesitant about necklaces. I wanted to get something that I didn't have to take on and off. I wanted to get something that I could wear every day as well. I wanted to get something like a starter necklace that I can add to and layer to it. Like that's why I didn't really go with a stone like a carnelian or onyx or something like that. Or even like the guilloche, which is like the full gold. I I didn't want to go with that because I didn't know how like if I would get irritated like if my eczema would flare up with the necklace so that's why I decided to go with this necklace from Cartier so let's go ahead and get into the unboxing that's what you guys are here for here is the box it just got delivered this morning I'm very excited to open this I feel like I've been waiting and contemplating which should I get should I get like um I even you guys thought about getting the malachite necklace from from Van Cleef and Arpels, like. So here's the box it came in. Oh, something fell. So in the box I have this, which I believe this is just probably my receipt and certificate. So this is the certificate of authenticity and it has like a FedEx label if I decide I don't want to keep this item and my receipt. So that's what came in this envelope. So I'll show you guys. I love that they give you a shopping bag when you purchase online. Ah. I can't even get the box out. <laughs> so here we go. Let's open it. Oh, the tag and stuff is in the way, but this is the necklace that I got. I'll do a better close up of it, but this is the necklace that I got. I got the um, Cartier D'Amour necklace in the large model. Let me take this out. Oh, see this necklace. Can you guys see that? Oh, it's so sparkly and pretty. So yes, I wanted to get diamond. I am, I want to get into diamonds, y'all. Who knows, that might be a dangerous path because jewelry, that's all I'm interested in. As far as it goes with the luxury items, I'm only concerned with jewelry at this moment in time in my life because I feel like it's something I can wear every day. I can see it on myself, like all my rings. Like I don't have a lot, I have three luxury rings plus this one from Pandora, which I love. I wear all my bracelets, I wear all my rings. I don't feel like it's a lot. Yeah, but all I want is jewelry. Like I'm not even a necklace girl. I want another bracelet, that's what I want. Y'all, I'm gonna be up in here with 10 bracelets on one wrist, it's gonna be looking crazy. But let's see if I can try this on, see how it looks. So they give you two, there's two jump rings if you can see that. There's two loops where you can adjust the sizing. I'm gonna try it on the shorter setting and see where it lays on my neck. But yeah, you guys, I really, like I know a lot of people are into like handbags and things like that and I used to be, but with the pandemic, couldn't wear my bags. So what did I do? Buy jewelry and I love it. I'm addicted to luxury jewelry at this moment in my life and it's all I wanna buy. I don't want anything else. Okay, so this is, ooh, can we zoom in? 
I think I might like it on the short setting. Oh, I didn't, I was concerned. I didn't think this would pop, you know, but the chain is very sparkly and the larger size diamond, I feel like it does pop. Well, maybe because I'm wearing black, but I feel like it does pop on me. And black is probably a color I wear all too often. I wanted something that was an everyday necklace that I didn't have to worry about taking off. I didn't want to get like a, like a precious stone from Van Cleve. But yeah, I'm liking this. Let me come up a little bit closer to you. I can feel the chain though, a little bit, like around the sides of my neck. So again, I hope it doesn't cause any kind of irritation for me and my skin types. All right, and then also let me adjust it to the longest setting and see where it falls, see if I like that any better. Now, one thing I am concerned about is the necklace moving, which is something I hate. Like when your necklace moves all around, like the diamond will be here or maybe it'll be here. Like that is one reason why I wanted to go with the stone, with the um, the Van Cleef necklace, because I felt like it was a heavier, you know, necklace. So it wouldn't move around. The pendant wouldn't travel around your neck, like around the world. Sorry, I'm looking at myself when I should be looking at you guys. I apologize. So yeah, I, I think I like it on the shorter setting, but this isn't too bad either. Let me come up a little closer. This could be a good option for me. I like this too. But yeah, so that's the unboxing of the item that I got for my graduation. I did not want to get, or I initially, I initially looked at getting a class ring, you guys. For an 18 karat gold class ring, and let's, let's just admit, these class rings are not cute. For an 18 karat gold class ring, it was $1,500. And I was just like, I could buy a luxury item. Like I can buy a bag with that. I could buy some more jewel or put it towards more jewelry. So I just, yeah, I, when I saw the prices of these class rings, like the least expensive option, which is what, which was in like a stainless steel, stainless steel ring, $700. I was just, this is absolutely mad. So I did not go with that option. I decided to go with something else that I could probably wear every day, keep it. Cause the ring, it was just to have, you know, the class ring would have been just to have it, not to actually wear it. So I'm glad I went this route after seeing those prices. So yeah. All right. So let me go ahead and get this other item and do this reveal. Okay. My address is plastered all over it, but this other item came from, I actually, you know what? I lied. I purchased this during Black Friday and this was from Fashion File. I purchased it during Black Friday sale because it had like an extra discount, I believe. I bought it for, I purchased it for my birthday and it's been in this box ever since then. Like I opened the box to look at it, but that's it, you guys. I'm you can probably tell by the orange box what it is. No, it's not Hermes, it's not Hermes. Louis, little Louis Vuitton, and it came with the box, the dust bag. I believe it even has the tags, but I got a toiletry. I believe this is the 26 size in the new model because it has the black leather sides. Is that what it says on the tag? So I'll show you that. So yeah, I have, as you can see, I haven't haven't used it, haven't cut the tags off. It's just been sitting in my closet since November. So yeah, I wanted to get, and it came with all like the, from the original owner tags and everything, textile cards and stuff. It, I believe it was listed in excellent condition, if not new condition, but it does not like from when I, dropping everything, from when I originally, originally looked at it, there were, like no signs of wear or anything on it but I wanted to use this for like spring summertime like now because I live in hot Georgia and you get sweaty and I like sometimes I don't like having a bag on my arm y'all know I'm a or maybe you don't know but I love totes so I love a big tote and it's just a lot carrying that on my shoulders during the summertime the, a big bag so I wanted something like I can carry like in my hand or like I'll use my crossbody bags as well but I just wanted something like to put possibly use this as like a clutch you know we'll see I have a I carry a lot of stuff so we'll see 
I'll have to downsize a lot in order to use this but so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know down below do you guys think I made a good choice in the necklace that I decided to purchase do you think I should add to it like a layering piece to go with it if so which piece do you think I should go with all right so that's going to be it love you see you next time bye the aftermath of filming stuff everywhere. <laughs>